What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am a senior interventional radiology resident physician. On today's video, we are going to be talking about everything I wear in and outside of the hospital. So let's go ahead and get into it. So some of you may be wondering why I'm even making this video to begin with, and the reason I'm doing it is because I think it is important as a physician to look good all the time while you're at work. I feel like it's easy while you're in residency to kind of let yourself go and not focus on what you're wearing and maybe not do your hair in the morning because you're tired, but I think it's really important to kind of keep all of those things up so that you present yourself well to your patients. Now, obviously in radiology, we don't have as many patient encounters as other physicians do, but we still like to keep ourselves presentable while at work. So when I was an athlete back in college, we used to have a motto, which was when you look good, you play good. And I've kind of adapted that into medicine as well. So just a quick disclaimer, I wanted to get out of the way before we start the rest of this video, is that you will see a ton of stuff from figs, but I want you to know that they are not sponsoring this video. Yes, I'm an ambassador, which means they will send me scrubs and such every now and then. And I have a discount code, which gets 15% off in the link in the description below. And no, I don't get any money if you buy scrubs and use my discount code. So feel free to use my code to get 15% off or don't use it and pay full price. It doesn't matter to me because I don't get anything from it. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I plan on breaking up the rest of the video into two segments, which is what I wear on diagnostic radiology service and what I wear on interventional radiology service because the two are a little different. So let's first start off with what I wear when I'm on diagnostic rotations, which is fitting because I start my diagnostic rotation on Monday. Again, my last diagnostic rotation of my entire life, which is cardiovascular imaging. Anyways, so what do I wear on a normal day to diagnostic radiology residency? So I think many of you have realized by now by watching all of my videos that I wear scrubs almost every day to work, unless I'm in clinic. And the reason behind that is we're allowed to. So I do. And I know that we don't have that much patient contact during diagnostic radiology rotations, but we still kind of do. And let me just be honest and upfront that wearing scrubs all day for long shifts sitting down is way more comfortable than wearing business casual clothes. So if you have the option to wear scrubs, why wouldn't you? especially when you can wear really nice scrubs like these. All right, so as you know by now, I always wear the same scrub top. It's the Leon Two Button Scrub Top from Figs. I usually wear black or a navy blue every time I go to work. So this is the like light blue, seal blue. So I'll usually switch it up. So I'll wear black, navy blue, black, maybe this color, and then maybe like a green or something depending on the season. And yes, I do dress seasonally appropriate. Um, so I love this scrub top. It is like, it has two pockets right here. One and then one inside of it. And it also has like a little pin pocket we can put a pin in. So I really love this scrub shirt, hence why I have like a million of them. And then of course, some people make fun of me, but I don't care because I always wear the jogger scrub pants, as you can see here. The reason being is, one, they're super comfortable. Two, they're actually fitted and not like wide trash bags. And I think I really like the tapered look of these. It's kind of in style right now. And I just love the look of a tapered pant and nice shoes, which we'll get to at the end of the video. I love these. I wear them literally every single day to the hospital. Also, let me touch a little more on why we are allowed to wear scrubs during the diagnostic rotations, because after all, Mostly we just sit in a room and read images, but pretty much every single rotation we are doing procedures as well. And for that reason alone, scrubs are appropriate in my opinion, because the procedures involve anything from spilling barium on yourself to spilling blood or getting body fluids on your clothes. So it's nice to have a pair of scrubs. If you get them dirty, you can just take them off bring them home with you and put on a hospital scrub top if you need to. It's much easier than getting blood on one of your nice button up shirts. And also when I'm on diagnostic rotations, it gets really cold in the rooms, regardless of 
the temperature outside. For some reason, hospitals can never keep up with the temperature outside. So even if it's hot as heck outside, you still need to bring a jacket with you. And you guessed it, I always bring a hoodie with me, usually. So I, I use this just like a zip up hoodie from Figs again. It's super thick and keeps you warm the whole time you're dictating studies. Almost all of my co-residents wear a jacket in the reading rooms and I do too because sometimes you need one. And we, we do get the hospital sponsored uh, Patagonia fleeces like every other resident in the entire world. But I do wear it sometimes, but for some reason I got a medium this year. I mean, I'm 6'4 and my arms are super long and I got a medium for some reason. No idea why. So obviously it's a little short on me. It still looks good, but it's a little short. So sometimes I'll wear just a hoodie or whatnot. I also have gray color, black color, and navy blue hoodies of the exact same model. So I may have a problem. But yeah, that pretty much covers my diagnostic wardrobe. And I'll go over the sneakers at the end, of course, because that's my favorite. All right, so now let's talk about what I wear on the interventional radiology service, which is obviously a little different because we actually are doing procedures and I have to wear different clothes in and out of the hospital. So when I'm on the interventional service, my wardrobe kind of changes day to day, but I do keep similar staples that I wear every single day, which I always wear the black joggers into the interventional service every single morning. And sometimes I'll wear a scrub top with it that matches or other times I'll just wear one of these hospital scrub tops because they are super thin and lightweight. And the reason I do that is because, not that I think it looks cool, because it looks weird when you wear black scrub pants with a teal shirt. We call that the radiology mullet because a lot of old radiologists will wear khakis and a scrub top like that. But the reason I do that is because you aren't allowed to wear anything but these scrubs when you're on the interventional service or when you're behind the certain area or where we do our interventional procedures. So like some of you have seen on my prior video, I get these scrubs from a scrub machine. It's attached to my badge and it gives me a certain amount of credits every single day. So we just put our badge up to the machine and it drops down scrubs when you select your size. At the end of the day when I'm done with procedures and I can go home, I will change out of these scrubs back into the scrubs I wore into the hospital. But sometimes I'll just put a fresh one of these shirts on and I'll wear this, this shirt in and out of the hospital. So I'll put on a fresh shirt at night from the machine, I'll wear that home and then wear that same shirt back to the hospital in the morning and then change into the morning into the new scrub top and pants. You're lucky if you get a good pair because the hospital reuses these, they wash them and put them in a machine every day. And sometimes you'll get one with like the whole bottom just completely busted out or you may get one that's completely ripped up the side, or you may get one with like a huge ink stain on the shirt. So, so it's kind of like playing the lottery every day because you never know what scrub top or scrub pants you're gonna get. It's different every single day. But anyways, we have to wear these when we are in the interventional suites um, because they don't want you wearing any outside clothes into the interventional suites because it is a sterile area, just like the operating rooms and the hallways within the operating rooms you'll see everybody wearing the same color OR scrubs, which is exactly what these are. So when I get to work at 645 on IR, the first thing I do is change into these scrubs. And then the next thing I do is change out of my normal socks and put on compression socks. So these are a game changer. I started wearing these because my legs would be so tired at the end of a long 12, 15 hour day wearing lead all day. My legs would always ache, but then I started wearing these and they don't ache as much. All right, so now let's get to my favorite part of my wardrobe that I wear to work every day, and that is the shoes. So my go-to super comfortable shoe that I usually wear is the Adidas Ultra Boost. This is just a white and black colorway. I don't know how long I've had this for. I think I've had it for a year now. This is the, I forgot which version this is. It's not the first version. It might, it might be the second version or something. But these are beyond comfortable, lightweight. You can be on your feet all day with these. These are awesome. They go obviously with any color scrubs, which is why I love them so much. This is like the workhorse, or it was the workhorse until recently. So recently I purchased a new pair of shoes which are super cheap, surprisingly, but they're kind of a 
pretty cool colorway, I think. So I've never actually had a pair of Pumas, but I think these are pretty unique and kind of out there, but super cool look to them, kind of vintage waffle vibes. I really love the vintage style shoes. It's a little loud for me, but not too loud, but these are super comfortable as well. Highly recommend these and the Ultra Boost if you're just doing anything within the hospital. So I wear these to work on IR, and I also wear them to work on diagnostic because, I mean, they're pretty fresh. So one thing I didn't mention is that I always wear procedural shoes when I'm on IR because you never know when you're going to get blood or other bodily fluids all over your shoes or pants. There have been a number of times when I've drained some gross, yucky abscess in someone's abdomen or whatnot, and you forget to close the drain, and it's just draining out all over the drapes, and then it'll leak down the side and form a nice puddle around your shoes and pants. I've had that happen before, it's not ideal. So don't wear your nice shoes when you're doing any sort of procedure or surgeries. All right, the next shoe you've seen me talk about before, I usually wear this with my black scrubs. So it is the Yeezy 350 V2 Yahil, Yahil, I can't, I can't even say it, but I always wear this with black scrubs only. I think it's pretty, pretty sick. Um, I like the colorway on this. I did a video when I kind of unboxed this and I don't know, these are so comfortable. I can't even begin to describe it. They're a little on the pricey side. I think they're 220, but they're super hard to get because you have to win a raffle essentially to get them. But they have this boost sole and they're super squishy. And I these are like the best hospital shoe ever in my opinion because they're so comfortable. Some people think they're a little out there and a little ugly. I used to as well, but they've kind of grown on me, which is why I bought another pair. So I bought these, these are the Desert Sage version. I did an unboxing on these as well. These are awesome. These are like my new spring Yeezy per se. You can wear these. I usually wear these with like the blue scrubs or even black or even navy blue. They kind of go with everything versus the black ones, which I predominantly wear in the winter. So that officially concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a different vibe from my normal videos, but sometimes you gotta switch it up a little bit. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.